five years have passed since the Nilfgaard Emperor had invaded the Northern Kingdoms. One after the next they fell, swept away by the military might of the Empire. Its power seemed beyond any contestation. Yet, in the face of inevitable doom, the divided kings of the North united under a common banner. At the Battle of Brenna, their combined efforts resulted in a resounding military triumph. The price of victory, however, was tremendous. Scorched lands, burnt houses, refugees, disease and hunger became a usual sight. The monarchs bickered over the spoils, ignoring the misfortune of the common folk. Wartime heroes pillaged to survive or died in poverty. Peace gave way to times of violence and decay. Disillusioned humans took to naming those responsible for their affliction. Their resentment was thus first aimed at the elves, as many of them had stood by Nilfgaard during the war. Whole bands of elf survivors had taken to the woods, terrorizing adjacent lands. Such prejudice had soon spread to encompass the dwarves, the gnomes, the halflings, and the mages. The increasing disquietude was accompanied by multiple divinations of the nearing doomsday. However, not all was lost. Among those that aided the kings in reinstating peace was the Order of the Burning Rose. They gave hope to those who had none. Yet even they were not enough to confront all the plagues of the post-war world. Diverse beasts and monsters emerged from the shadows. They recalled an unremitting need for the skills of the witchers. The professional beast slayers. Those that know the trade, however, are few.